And just like that, Major League Fishing has gone, done it again. So join the team and the family. It's quick and easy. Hit that subscribe button and that like button and become part of the team. I really do appreciate it. So let me start off by saying thank you. Thank you for watching this. And, and if you notice a difference, I'm, I'm fighting flu A. I've been fighting it all week. I was going to do this video on Wednesday or Thursday when the news came out, but quite honestly, I just didn't think I could do it at all. I've been really tired and I don't want to say unmotivated, but I've been just exhausted. And I actually have an interview set up with Boyd at some time. He agreed to an interview and hopefully I can do that sometime soon. I actually agreed to it several weeks ago, uh, just after Thanksgiving, but then as luck would have it, the next weekend was swimming, so I didn't want to bother him and then Thanksgiving. And then I've kind of put it off because I've been doing other things and trying to grow the channel and stuff like that. But there is a Boyd Duckett interview coming and hopefully it'll be really good. So like I said at the beginning, they've gone done it again. Major League Fishing has again changed their rules. And I think this is something that a lot of fans and a lot of anglers kind of pushed for. When we heard that they were going to move to top 50, we were all kind of in shell shock because there were a lot of really good anglers that weren't going to make that cut. And I think it surprised a lot of people. I think if you watch other people's podcasts and stuff like that, you'll see that there were a lot of people very upset. James Watson was one of them. Citywide was pissed off. He was in that bottom group and really there's a lot of anglers that would have had had an unbelievable 2024 season to make it into that top 50. In 2025, they're not going to 50 anglers. They're going to do that in 2026. So in 2024, they'll have their normal 80 angler field. But then in 2025, they'll move down to 65 anglers. And that will be just what they said before. It'll be the people that have the highest angler of the year points. And if they have a certain amount of years, they can get one year off. So in general, if they've had six years, they'll probably have four years of their best numbers to push them forward. So it's going to make it a little bit of confusing, but I'm going to try to do a video after every BBT tournament this year to show you who's in and who's out of that top 65. But in 20. 25 in 2026 they're going to move down to 50 anglers and i know there was a lot of people that are very upset by this but it really does kind of make sense it'll be more of a elite field you will not have some of these guys that just keep coming to tournaments and just don't kept make any caches there's a lot of anglers that don't that just don't do it and if they're not helping propel bpt why have them in there i'm not trying to throw shade on anyone but that's the truth if you've made 16 or twenty thousand dollars in the last four years and you've paid one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in tournament fees, I mean, you should really look at your return on investment because it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. So in 2026, they'll move down to 50 and that makes takes this whole this whole curve of going from 80 to 50 a little bit longer and that's pretty good but really the biggest news that BPT put out this week or ML put out this week is that in 2025 first place is going to be hundred and fifty thousand dollars that is significant that's the most money you can win on any tournament other than the classic or the Red Crest hundred and fifty thousand dollars to win a tournament is huge that is huge so it's going to be, they're going to pay out 6.5 million payouts in 2025. So they're going to also live stream more events. And the Red Crest is going to go from 35 anglers to 24 and then 10 anglers from the MLF 5 ranks. I mean, I know we all are not happy with a lot of things that MLF does, but they are pushing forward. They're make, trying to make their group better. They're trying to make more money for the anglers. They're trying to, they're supposedly they're talking to sponsors and even the sponsors are happy about it. Now... I mean, you can you can go either way on that one. It's just like the numbers of how many people watch live stream. I heard one tournament group say like a couple of years ago they had 42 million people watch their live stream. And they only had less than 100,000 people hit their website. So that doesn't make sense. So, you know, are sponsors going to keep joining? Or are they going to be happier with what's going on with the BPT and MLF? I don't know. But I think this is a better opportunity for some anglers to have a couple good years and push themselves or propel themselves to become part of that top 35. I think if they don't, it's just time to just, you know, I'm a dealer nothing here. So I'm I'm unsure on how it's going to work out for some anglers. I think, like I said, there's going to be a few guys that really have to have two exceptional years in a row to qualify. But I mean, if you want the best of the best, that's what hap has to happen. Having that qualifying round and qualifying people move in is what makes a, really a professional tournament work the best. It's the same formula that Bass has used for years. Make the opens, compete in the opens and do well, get to the elites. 
It brings fresh people in constantly, and it also keeps the best of the best in that group and in that tournament. And that's really what we want to see. We want to see the best of the best fish. Now, we do we want to see them with forward-facing sonar? That's a whole nother video, but I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys are feeling well because I'm feeling right now and I know I'm going to sneeze in a second. So thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.